10 Reasons You Should Not Be Selling Your Own Coins Now take it from me. I am a coin dealer and I own a brick and mortar coin shop, but I got my humble beginnings at flea markets and then eBay. And I've seen a lot of things going on, so you've got a choice to be a good seller or a bad seller. And I'm going to give you 10 of these reasons with the resources. Their links will be in the video description. They'll be in a pinned comment. And I mean, there's going to be a lot for those of you who aspire to sell your own coins. But before you do that, don't sell your own coins before you watch this video. We'll start at number 10 and work our way down to number one. So number 10, you can't take clear images of coins with decent lighting and don't feel like learning how. I see this so many times. Just people don't think they can take pictures. They just, they put up blurry images. They don't take, they take angles, uh, shots and different things like that. And here is a video right here to use your phone. You know, three minutes or so, and you can take images of your coin. Over here on coinauctionshelp.com, like I said, I'm gonna have all these links in the description. Then we have a little guide over here, coin photography setup, cheap and easy. Using your phone, using a little uh, magnifier that you clip on your phone to take proper images of your coins. You have to learn how to take proper images of your coins. Images of your coins is a window to your coin for people who are online so that they know what they're buying. It's very important to do that. So we have these over here. Links will be in the description and a pinned comment. I'll say that probably multiple times. Number nine. You don't have basic knowledge of coin values or know of resources to find their values and don't care. Okay, if you don't care about finding values of your coins, because we have a help community where you can do that. We have a price guide here. There's a Numus Media price guide. There's sold auctions. You can go to Stacks. You can go to eBay and look at the sold buy it now auctions or pick a, a Subscribe to the Coin Dealer newsletter and learn the wholesale and learn what they sell for retail. PCGS and NGC, they all have websites with coin values. You have to want to know the coin values. You have to know how to learn coin values. If you don't, you can't sell coins. You can't sell coins if you don't know their value. Number eight, you don't have a basic knowledge of coin grading and coin conditions. That is so important. How are you going to sell coins and then put a value on a coin if you don't have any idea how to grade a coin? You have to learn how to grade coins. We have photo grade over here on our website at coinauctionshelp.com. Link will be in a pinned comment and in the description. You can go over to PCGS. They have a coin grading uh, app as well, or at least a coin grading website there. Here's an example. You just need to know the basics. You don't have to be an expert, but just to be able to give people an idea of what grade the coin is to go along with a, a good image of your coin. Number seven, you can't properly ID mint errors or varieties and have little understanding of the coin minting process. And either you think you do when you don't or just have no gumption to learn it. And you don't believe experts that your coin isn't what you think it is. <laughs> that's a little convoluted there, but it's the truth. If you don't have a desire to actually learn the real coin making process and you're in this conspiracy theories and you're seeing things in your coins and then trying to come up with some discovery, there's nothing wrong with coming up with a new discovery of variety, but it has to be within the parameters of the known coin minting process. You also have to know the resources to find out about mint errors and varieties, and you have to know the difference between an error and a variety. So coming over here to error-ref.com is very important. DoubleDie.com, which is down at the moment. But I also have an app over on Google Play to learn about mint errors, the basics. I mean, it shows you all that you need to know. You can actually go to the website itself. I will have a link in the description for everybody so that you can go there and check it out because it's basically a website that is a window with a, an app that you can install on your phone. So you can just one click and go to it. Don't have to worry about searching it. And then you can come over to Koneka, join Koneka. They have a forum, they have contacts here that can help you with coins and help you with the coin minting process. Variety Vista, coin, Connect with Variety Vista is another uh, great resource so that you can learn before you put coins up. Was we have too many, and I mean thousands, but we have way too many people putting potential mint errors up on eBay and they have no idea what they have. I mean, one of the examples is this right here, you know, a die chip on Washington's face. It's uh, become pretty popular. People are selling it. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you know it's a die chip. Number six, and you don't want to sell coins just because 
a YouTube video or you thought a YouTube video told you your coin is valuable. Okay, YouTube videos, I do them myself. And you, you can't miss out on information. You can't just look at the thumbnail or watch part of the video and then think that that's what your coin's worth without the information. Coins have to be graded high to be worth a lot of money. They have to be extremely rare to be worth a lot of money. It's not just because you have the same date, a date, same mint mark. It's very important to know that. Number five, you don't want to sell coins just because you need money. And that makes you afraid to describe your coin honestly because you might lose out on profit. You know, I see this a lot in Facebook groups. People don't want to take responsibility for describing their coins because they're afraid that they might say it's clean and they're going to get less money out of it or they pay too much for it. Well, that's not on the seller. That's on you. That's on you to learn all these things that I'm talking about in this video. It's not anybody else's fault. It's your responsibility to be responsible and learn about coin conditions and values and, and basics of grading and mint errors and, and varieties. That, that's up to you. It's not up to the seller to do that for you. If someone's trying to buy coins, the seller should know, and I've done videos on that too, but this is all about education, 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 and responsibility. You have to take that if you're going to sell coins to people and, and expect their money to be in your pocket from their wallet. That brings me to number four. Don't sell your coins if you don't know the basics of identifying clean or problem coins. You know, there's just too many videos out there and too many videos that I've created. This is some of the videos that I have that show you examples of clean coins. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to make a mistake. I understand that. But to actually have a bunch of clean coins and not even try, not even, even give an attempt to tell someone that it might be clean, don't sell your coins if you're going to do that. Just plain and simple. If you're going to hide and mask uh, stuff with, with light reflections, I and mean, when we see that stuff all the time over here on eBay, it's just it's ridiculous that people would do that uh, to, to manipulate their their coins using uh, you know lighting refract reflections and things like that, and smudging and Photoshop. That just hurts the hobby. You just have no business selling coins if that's what you're going to do. This is number three and number two, all wrapped into one. And I want to look at everybody on this one here. This is number three. You know, don't sell coins if you don't care about people. Don't sell coins. And number two, don't sell coins if you don't care about this hobby. Those two go hand in hand. If you don't care about people, you don't care about if you rip them off, you don't care about their feelings, you don't care about the hobby and, and making the hobby better, at least being a, a great fixture of, of, of a seller in the hobby or a dealer, then don't sell your own coins. Don't even bother selling coins. We don't need you in this hobby if you don't care about it and you don't care about people. All you care about is money. You need to oust yourself. Don't even consider it. A lot of people will get offended by that and say, you can't tell me what to do. You're right. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm going to do it in my video. <laughs> Number one, don't sell your own coins if you're a dishonest crook that desires to overhype, lie about your coins to make them seem more valuable, use fraudulent selling tactics, photo manipulations, and false descriptions of your coins. Basically, if you're just going to lie about where the coins came from, or you're going to lie about the condition of your coins, or you're just, just going to make up whatever you can because you think it's funny or fun, don't bother. Don't sell coins. It's people like this, you know, they do this with these rolls. You see it all the time. You see uh, images that are manipulated. You see uh, people lying about states and where coins are coming from and, and how they came. And the, these, the, I've seen every story you can imagine. And believe me, I have over two decades online of seeing the same story, new people, or just a slightly different version of the same lies over and over and over. And it's, it's pathetic. It needs to stop. People need to educate themselves. Watch my video. Use all the links that I'm going to put in the description and in a pinned comment so that you can educate yourself and properly sell coins. Believe me, it's not that hard. And, and I'm telling you, I want people to sell their own coins. I mean, I know I'm a coin dealer, but I think the hobby grows and, and the hobby gets interest if people think that they can actually sell coins and make some money. You know, that helps the hobby. It doesn't, uh, you know, competition with me, it has nothing to do with that. I'm promoting honesty and education and kindness in this hobby. And that's what I want. That's what I want from this video. Hopefully you've learned from this video. Thanks for watching my video. Please share it. Subscribe to my channel. 
and have a great day.